South Australia's Malinowskis government has delivered its first budget, which reveals a pivot of the government's role in the state's clean energy transition. The Treasurer has acknowledged higher inflation and interest rates risk wiping out surpluses. His budget forecasts into the future. Health is the cornerstone of SA's 2022 budget, which, if it were a person, would be... You know, I think we put it on the front cover. It's a South Australian in a green uniform. The budget reveals a $2.4 billion health spend over the next five years, plus nearly $180 million for public housing programs, $82 million over the next four years to buy, rebuild and run the Adelaide Aquatic Centre, and $18 million next financial year to bring the Adelaide 500 back to the city in December. There's a steady increase in surpluses over the forward estimates, reaching $643 million by 2025-26, thanks to more stamp duty from a strong property market and extra GST. The government expects lower costs through increased efficiency across a variety of departments that aren't frontline services. And further... We have done some of the hard work up front and identified government programs that are not priorities for this government which were priorities for the previous government. This means that we can lock in savings from the 1st of, Je oh, 1st of July this year, and lock those savings in not only for that first financial year but on an ongoing basis. This includes scrapping clean energy schemes for electric vehicle chargers, home batteries and solar panels, and plans to plant more trees in Adelaide CBD and suburbs. It comes on the same day the Liberal opposition introduced legislation to ramp up the state's transition to net zero even faster than the federal Labor government. $600 million will be spent over the next four years to build a state-run hydrogen plant. We are now seeing, uh, all of us are seeing, through higher electricity bills, uh, the cost of failure of energy policy at a national level, the cost of soaring coal prices in higher electricity bills, uh, we are what the rest of the country wants to be. But as inflation grips the world, the Treasurer acknowledged it could blow out construction costs, including the build of the new Women's and Children's Hospital. I've got to be honest with you, I don't have much confidence. I can't tell you what that cost is going to be, but what I can tell you is that we remain absolutely committed to delivering this project. He also said higher interest rates could hit the surplus. Here's what community representatives thought of the budget. On the back of a federal election result, which clearly showed the community wants more investment in climate protection, to have uh, such a hit to um, energy saving and environment programs is disappointing. We're in, we're in a budget surplus. There's no reason why we need to be cutting public services. I guess our concern is that this budget is underpinned by uh, you, you know, a billion dollars in GST receipts and a billion dollars in uh, other state taxes like stamp duties and payroll taxes and gambling taxes. So there's probably a question moving forward uh, uh, about how future budgets will be underpinned. Joel Phillips, Sky News, Adelaide.